So I need to set my timing and if you don't know how to set your timing this is a good video for you but I need to retard my timing as they call it for boost reasons so anyways what you're going to need of course you're going to need your timing key if you bought one to advance your timing the one I have in there now is a six degree, six degree timing key. This is how it goes in. Looks like that. Six degrees. And what you need is a pry bar, a eight millimeter socket. and a pair of pliers. There are one bolt, two bolts, three bolts, and four bolts. Now take those off. Now those are loosened, pull them out, set them somewhere safe, and you can pull this off, pull off the recoil, just make sure your screws are off. And off comes the recoil, watch out for that wire, because it is attached, set it aside. Now comes the fun part. And now what you need is your three-quarter socket. Three-quarter. You want to put that on first. Get your pry bar and how I explain it. You got your notches, one, two, and three. You want it on notch three and one. Okay. Now what you want to do is turn in opposite directions. But turn the ratchet to the left. And go. Just like that. Now you gotta loosen, loosen that, and the starter cup will come off once the nut comes off. And so will the fan. Okay, the next part, you need another tool. I use a mallet. That's one of my other favorite tools. You need a mallet and that pry bar again. So, what you want to do? Put the pry bar. Well, let's turn this first. Makes it easier without sticking because it's, that's a pretty strong magnet. That's what sets your spark. Set it behind the flywheel. Give it some some prying action. 
I mean, just apply some prying force, a little, not too much. I'd say about, mm, I don't know, 10 pounds of pressure. Get your hammer. Give this a good whack. No, I mean a good one too. Don't be a wimp. You won't break it. Just hit it. And the flywheel. Come on. Alright, now that you got that done, off comes the flywheel. Okay, to get the key out. This is where the pliers come in. Handy dandy pliers. Now I like these because they lock in place. Okay. Very precise. <laughs> you see after a while, you start getting used to your tools. You start doing them one handed. Alright. Tighten it some more. Alright. Lock. And jiggle. Jiggle and pull. Ugh. May take a couple times because it's lapped in there. Kind of like a glue. There we go. Now she's out. And now to install your key of choice. Okay, there's my stock key. You want to put it at an angle. That's what holds the flywheel at its timing. If you want to be a real pro, you use a degree wheel. You don't need these flywheel keys. You can actually time it yourself with a timing light and a degree wheel. See that notch? Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. Come on. Yep. Right in there. No problem. Now all you need to do do the reverse order and that's how you set your timing your ignition timing on a small engine if only it was EFI right <laughs> I will post the torque specs for the Predator 212 Hemi right here because I don't know right this second okay I hope this helped you Of course, subscribe for future videos, because good stuff is on the way. Also, a very important thing to note, when you go to install the set, make sure this is behind, because if not, your engine will not turn off.
trust me, you don't want that. Okay.